Hello everyone, welcome back to DevOps and Cloud with Aria. In this video, I will show how to do some monitoring for the AC2 resources in the AWS using a Grafana with the integration with the CloudWatch. So the idea of this is actually to make you able to monitor your uh, resources on the EC2 on your Grafana, whether it is like a manage or even on premise or even on your local uh, test environment. But in this video, I will show that in the local because I don't want to host that in the some VPS. I will show you uh, how I can monitor my AWS using my local Grafana that run uh, inside of the Docker. So first thing first, let's uh, try to create the new Grafana uh, container. We can use the Grafana container that uh, prison the image that present in the Docker Hub. We can use this one. So let's start by creating a new one. Let's use this. Let's graph on a ADBS. I will use another port for this one. And this, yeah. yeah. So now you can see that I will have the Grafana that listening on the port 3001. And let's try to access the port there. Okay. Let me try to HTTP localhost. Okay, now you can see here that the Grafana is running fine. Let's try to log in first. The default username and password is admin admin and you can change to new password or you can skip actually. So it doesn't matter because this one is on the local and this is only for the simple POC. Later I will destroy this for sure. Let's submit. Now we already have the Grafana running and you can see that in the Grafana itself, it has the dashboard, it has the explore for you to explore the metric or also like uh, you have the alerting for the letter uh, proposed after you define the, the metric is coming or you have the connection to define a new data source and in this case, uh, when we want to like monitor the resources on the AWS, we need to have an access to the CloudWatch so what we need to do, we can go to the IAM in the AWS console, you need to log it first for sure. And then you can create a new user here. You can put any uh, user name here. So let's put POC Grafana uh, AWS. And then next, you don't need you don't need to provide a uh, user access to the AWS management console because this one is uh, unnecessary. This one is uh, more to give an access to called the uh, uh, CloudWatch uh, metric. So you can attach the policy directly here and you can search for the CloudWatch and read only. Okay, read only access. Let me check read only. CloudWatch, what is the another one that we need to put? The read only was... Is that all? No. Let's see. Read only. Mm, yeah, I think this one. It should be necessary. I think it should be enough, but let's see. And uh, another that I already configured here. So at least there are two policy for this. Okay, log. Log read only access. And this one. Log read only access. Yeah, because I mean, we also need uh, the log for accessing this for the only read only not the full access only read on read only so let's go next so basically it will be able to read the cloudwatch and also read the cloudwatch logs so those are the necessary policy that you need to having a connection to the cloudwatch and uh, reading the metrics so now you can create the user after that, you can click the POC graph on AWS, the one that we just uh, created now, and you can go to the uh, security credential and create the access key here. So the access key here, you can like choose um, other or anything, or you can like application running outside of the AWS because a letter you can you need to fill all of the credential into the Grafana. Okay, so you can next. Oh, tag is like Grafana or something like this. 
let's uh, create new key let's copy this so we already have the access key and also the secret so what we need to do now is actually to configure the grafana to call the uh, cloudwatch uh, api okay to get the data for the metric so what you need to do is you need to go to the connection and then to the data source you need to add a new data source here and you can search for the adbs no cloudwatch here and you can put like the name cloudwatch i mean you can put anything uh, because this one let's use the default one and for the authentication provider you need to choose for the access and secret key this is the access key id the one that you get after you are generating one from the adbs uh, console and the secret you can put here okay and after that the default region you can choose like what is the default region if you are not uh, configuring that in the uh, metric or even the, in the uh, dashboard so in my case i will choose to us uh, let's see it should be okay i think us is to i will use that because my instance are there us is two yeah let's see now save and test let's see whether this one is working fine and now yeah it's working fine perfectly so it's done so what we need to do now is we can go to the explore and we can like try to explore the metric that prison here so for the example yeah us is us is two and the name so is uh, the one that we want to monitor now is actually the ac2 let's type ec2 and choose the metrics let's say we want to know about the cpu utilization we can search for this one and use the dimension here is the instance uh, name instance id so you can uh, see like the cpu utilization uh, for the instance it will show you like uh, the instance id i will choose anything here okay and run query so basically you will see that for this instance id the cpu utilization is like this over the time this one is for last uh, an hour yeah last last hour okay so all of this is actually the cpu utilization so this is the explore this is the metric that we can use now let's try to create a new dashboard here so let's say the dashboard is like mm, new visualization use the data source the cloud watch and let's pull the name cpu utility utilization ec2 okay so same what we need to do is like just choose the namespace in this case is the ec2 and then the metric name is the cpu utilization and we need to put a, a dimension here it is the instance id for any instance and then let's run again and it will show okay so now it's good what we can do we can save this one for the dashboard is poc adbs monitoring okay let's save this and enjoy now you have the dashboard and you have the cpu utilization visualization for these instances i have uh, two instances but but only one that actually running so you can only see one so if i move that to the last 24 hour you can see like yeah it is spiking only in the certain time so that's expected because most of the time it's like uh, not having a uh, heavy load okay so this is about the dashboard so the next question is uh, is it possible to have an existing dashboard to be imported to the system and yeah it's possible so many people is actually already pre already shared the, the existing dashboard for the adps uh, monitoring so what we can do we can go to the dashboard go new import and then search for the dashboard that you want to import in this case i will try to use this one this one you will see the id for this uh, dashboard so what you need to do is copy the id to the to the what i can call to your system and then you can click here put them load and import that's it but before that you need to uh, configure what is the data source for the cloudless and just import and now you can see not only the cpu utilization but you can see the uh, network traffic outbound and also the inbound so this is a good case let's see for last um, seven days i suppose it has like some inbound and also the outbound so you can see uh, clearly on the on the visualization so it's also same about the 
uh, network and also the the other so it's good basically you don't need to recreate the dashboard it's already there uh, it's already uh, have the template with a multi visualization just use that import it and you are good now so yeah so that's the, the easy POC and simply simple way to start monitoring your EC2 instances in the ADBS using the Grafana, whether it is on premise or in anywhere. And if you have any question, don't forget to just put uh, the comment and I will try to answer that. And also, if you need to do some uh, technical uh, consultation uh, related with the DevOps or cloud, just open my uh, currently and you can like reserve uh, the time there. Uh, yeah. That's for this video and see you in the next video.